hi guys this is Aman Watts and welcome to my channel today I will talk about the type of questions being asked in PMP examination what is that format and what type of questions are generally asked what is their percentage in fact on on which project cycle what type of questions how, how many questions are generally asked and uh, that whole format I'm going to explain in this particular video so stay connected first let me talk about the PMP format so this is total four hour duration I have uh, explained this in my previous video four hour duration knowledge tested on five different domains 200 multiple choice questions 25 pilot question in 200 multiple choice question that means your result is going to be out of 175 questions these 25 questions where these are placed you are not aware quite possible some question which is uh, correct for you is actually a pilot question right and the questions are randomly generated it does not uh, go as per like um, project life cycle or it does not go as per the knowledge areas there is no uh, sequence of anything it is just randomly generated rating based system some question has uh, high, heavy rating and uh, it is marked for more some have less rating and marked for more and it is not known to the person who is appearing in examination there is no negative marking so please don't get carried away about the negative marking there is no negative marking this is a, a little little about this examination now let me tell you very important aspect percentage of questions appearing from project life cycles initiation you have uh, 13% planning 24% who executing it 31% so you can understand how important it is monitoring and control 25% and closing is 7% so overall if you see 13% 24% 31% 25% 7% so the most important is I mean not important but maximum question you get it from executing then monitoring and control monitoring and control starts right from the beginning when you start your project so many many people they think like uh, i will do the planning and then i'll start monitoring and control no it starts right from the beginning and uh, then planning 24 percent initiating 13 and closing seven percent this is the question asked by many people many times what type of questions so guys uh PMP examination has multiple type of questions scenario based one scenario will be given and you will be asked question out of that so you need to understand the scenario and then reply the, the, the answer I mean reply the question situational based a situation will be created XYZ is on leave he has taken over he has done that he has done that and XYZ I mean a, a very big question in general statement is very big but answer is smaller then using a test illustration like network diagram or uh, maybe some other illustration is given and then question being asked on that and I have seen like generally uh, out of one illustration there are multiple questions are being asked for one in, uh, from one, in one illustration then formula and computing absolutely straight questions I'm going to create a video on various formulas and computing absolutely straight and if you are you are thorough you have remembered that this is a short shot okay negative descriptors such as accept you should be really careful about that because in whole statement you will find somewhere the negative descriptor like accept or not or uh, I mean many such so you should be really careful about the statement what the statement is talking about and what what question is being asked too likely answer very difficult even you eliminate still you will have two, two answers so you have to understand the concept and best possible the nearest one has to be marked so you are likely to have two answers but the nearest one and most possible answer has to be marked that is these are the type of questions generally you get in PMP examination and uh, the uh, the best part for preparing this is of course these comes with the experience right or you understand the scenario this is uh, you should be really uh, good in understanding the diagrams and you you need to practice more straight learning remembering that's it 
to be really careful and practice practice and practice so such questions are practice practice and practice roadmap to become pmp i have already explained in my previous video Def decide and define a target date become pmm uh, pmi member submit pmp exam application book pmp exam with prometric pass pmp examination and you need to prepare for examination thoroughly that is most important that there is no point of going there in a print examination so guys this was overall about what type of questions being asked in pmp examination what is their percentage allocation i hope you must have enjoyed this video stay connected subscribe this channel don't forget to plus press alert button thank you very much take care bye bye